Hello everyone, welcome to Self Love You. Today, your video topic is how to stop obsessing about your ex and looking at their social media. How to stop obsessing about your ex. A lot of my coaching clients, um, if you're interested in coaching, go to selfloveyou.net. A lot of my coaching clients are finding themselves in a series of addictive processes in a in a type of addiction for their ex the person that they love the person who has rejected them the person who has left them for another who has left them and decided that they're not interested anymore and has now moved on and has another relationship uh, there is a bulk of my, the people that come to me that are asking me for help they cannot stop the process of checking their um, exes social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever medium that their ex uses, they're having problems in that process. They're having difficulty letting go. And social media is making it more easy than ever to stay connected somehow with the ex through this stalking type of behavior. And people that are going through this who are constantly looking at their ex's Facebook and Instagram, these people are feeling a lot of shame for this activity and they usually will beat themselves up. Like, why am I so stupid? This person was bad to me. Why am I looking every day at their Instagram? Why am I looking every day at their new girlfriend's Facebook page? Why am I, why am I so obsessed? Why can I get out of this cycle? What is wrong with me? Gosh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Well, let me tell you, you are not stupid. You're not stupid. And shaming yourself will never get you out of the situation. If you truly want to heal and you truly want to be free and you truly want to stop obsessing about this person, then it's time for you to start loving yourself and start building your own life to the extent that you're no longer shaming yourself for not being able to keep the attention of this person because it's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. You are a fabulous, a wonderful, a beautiful, an amazing person. You are awesome. You are valuable. You are worthy and you matter. And this person does not mean more than you do. This person is not more valuable than you are. This person, if they, if they loved you back, it would not do anything to make you more valuable. You cannot put your value in the hands of another person. It is vital that you begin to see yourself and be with yourself and realize that you're giving away your power, that you're giving away your thoughts, that you're, you're allowing an addiction, that you're addicted to a feeling, that you're addicted to the feeling of rejection, and that you're potentially, a, I mean, I don't know for sure, but you potentially could be addicted to the feeling of rejection. You could be addicted to feeling that connection. There's something that happens when you go to their Instagram, when you are watching who they're friending, who they're unfriending, who they're spending time with, who they're tagging, and you and you begin to analyze and look at all the different things that they're doing, when you do this, you're getting some sort of rush. You're getting some sort of feeling of connection. But the connection is not healing. It's not soothing, and it's not nurturing. It's actually like self-harm. It's like uh, self-sabotage. It is like being stuck. It is like not moving forward. It's like focusing externally rather than focusing on your inner self and your truth and what's going on inside of you. It's like trying to get your worth from a third party. It's like trying to see today, today, is there a chance for me today? Will I get the validation that I need today? Will I not? I'm, I'm going to that Facebook every day. Is there validation? Does someone love me? Does someone care about me? Am I valuable? Am I still value? Am I valuable today? Am I valuable today? Will he see me today? Does this person notice me today? Is this person still moved on? Ah! And that is an understandable experience because you have, if you're doing this, you have unmet childhood dependency needs and you're trying to get your need 
You need to feel valuable. You're trying to get that need met through using social media to connect you to a person who is no longer giving you the love and attention and the, and the nourishment that you need. So you're trying to get that back, trying to get it to where it was, trying to fix that person, trying to fix yourself. You're totally disconnected from who you are and you're totally disassociated from who you are and totally focused on an outside person to give you validation or to remind yourself that, hey, I must not be good enough if he doesn't want me. I may not, I must not be good enough if she doesn't want me. Only I was only I was this, only I was that, I was that. Look, the look, new the boyfriend, new boyfriend is, is, drives a drives Lamborghini. Lamborghini. If only I had a Lamborghini. Why am I doing this? Why do I do this? I'm so stupid. And then you shame yourself and you go into the spiral, the shame spiral, and it does not feel good, but you continue to do this over and over again this experience of a non connection it's it's a not you're not connected this doesn't connect you um maybe every once in a while the ex will throw you a bone maybe every once in a while you might get some hope in the process maybe every once in a while you you might get something out of it and it's like a slot machine it's like you're in vegas you're at a slot machine and you never know what you're going to get and that is called intermittent reinforcement. Whenever once in a while they'll throw you a bone, every once in a while they won't be cruel, every once in a while they'll give you a tax just to make sure that you're still on standby and so that they can boost their ego through your availability. Well, I just say to you, it is time to have dignity. It is time to focus on yourself. It is time to come into your own heart and know that you are worthy of connection. You are worthy of reciprocity. You are worthy of moving on. You're worthy to heal the wounds inside that are causing you to conduct this repetition compulsion, this, um, you know, and, and, and this Stockholm syndrome, you know, you're, you've been hurt by this person and you're still attached. You have a trauma bond to this person and you deserve to heal from that. You deserve to see reality and the fantasy of them being available for you. Is It's time to come down. It's time to bring the fantasy down and focus on who that person really is. That person really doesn't have much to offer you at all. All you have is an image on social media. Social media is not reality. They can be doing anything on social media. You don't know what their life is really like. And quite frankly, it doesn't even matter. What their life is like should not even affect you because you are growing. You are moving on. You are focusing on yourself. You're focusing on new interests, better things, things to better yourself. You're, you're really coming into yourself. You're exercising. You're eating right. You're learning to be alone without the incessant obsession about another person. You're becoming obsessed with loving yourself. You're becoming obsessed with taking care of yourself. You're getting coaching. You're getting therapy. You're, you're calling support. You're, you're resourcing yourself. You're loving yourself. And you're, you're really um, engaging in your talents. And you're moving forward. And you're moving onward. And you're moving upward. And you're going to get through this. And you're going to get over this person. You're going to get to a place where seeing their picture no longer causes you to feel obsessed and that is where you want to be because you deserve it because you're amazing and you are a self lovey thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe and share this with everyone you know and take care of yourself and I'll see you in coaching selfloveyou.net until next time I will talk to you soon